Hi everybody. Uh, sorry about the mess. <laughs> it's uh, just the way it is when you're working on, on scenery, I guess. Uh, first of all, I want to start out, uh, reach 600 subscribers uh, pretty fast from 500. I think a lot of that was the, uh, the boomer bump, <laughs> I guess, uh, was, you know, when he shared my uh, video, I, I picked up a lot of subscribers. So thank you again to Boomer. And I hope everybody, you know, enjoys the uh, the channel and again I appreciate all comments uh, and questions and so feel free to comment and ask. Um, I feel like I should probably make a maybe not a real fancy intro with explosions and stuff and <laughs> music but maybe a common introduction to my videos so I may work on that uh, sometime uh, instead of just jumping right into the uh, content. Uh, the reason why I'm talking to you now is because when I actually the first video you're going to see it's just like I didn't give any preface to it at all. It's just uh, I just started talking. I thought, well, that's not a really good way to start. Uh, so uh, just going to be talking about some of the things I'm doing at Oak Hill. Again, questions, comments are always welcome. And uh, let's just get into it. Well, I've run the engine uh, through this. The, you're going to see the first train <laughs> to try to go into the staging yard. Let's see what happens. And this will be a typical train, nothing over 50 foot long, mostly covered hoppers and boxcars, probably be it. Little sharp curve right there, which I may redo eventually if it gives me problems. Doesn't give me problems, like I said, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Uh, I'm not going to bother with it. It's just a staging yard. I'm not going to ballast the track. Uh, I'm not going to put any scenery on it. I may at the very end, or it may show up in photos or something. Uh, but besides that, I'm not going to do anything. Oh, wrong way. Just about to the end. So there's an engine and, you know, five cars, you know, and a caboose. Some of the cars are pretty short. So, you know, this track would probably hold two or three more cars at the most. But again, that's, <clears throat> that's all I need. So I'm feeling lucky. So let's see if I can back up with <laughs> without derailing anything. Again, there's two tracks in there. There's a turnout uh, right about here. The B&O boxcar on the end, uh, the boxcar red one, is a new Microtrains release. It has body-mounted couplers, which I like, uh, but they're not attached to the body with the screw. Uh, so I was going to go in and actually do my replace the spring with the rubber band, but I can't figure out how to get them off without really destroying them. So I guess I'm just going to have to live with it. <laughs> All right. Success. Turn the sound off. I've got a connector here. Actually, I've just sort of got the wires sort of bent up. Uh, I'm going to staple them up. Uh, this is like an in track connector, so when I want to take it down, I can just unplug it and I'll tie that one up. Take this clamp off. Now the hardest part of this whole thing is I've got a couple of rail joiners here that just sort of slide on and off. And eventually they'll probably get cut loose and this will be easier. But right now they're still pretty tight. But I didn't want to rely on the rail joiners for electricity. So it's ready to come off now. Basically I have to lift up. that and then I can just sit it over here oh by the way I didn't point out the door <laughs> um, I was working on this and basically I was trapped <laughs> in here so I took the door off off the hinges uh, 
uh, so I could duck in and out underneath it. But now that this is done, I'm going to take it in the garage and I'm going to paint it um, today. And I put the door back on the hinges, which will make my wife happy. Uh, so that's it for the staging yard. Let me know if you have any questions. And I'm going to show you uh, a couple more things I'm doing at Oak Hill. So I've been working on uh, grade crossings. And you can see the beginnings of a sidewalk here. All right, we'll just park the train right there and turn the sound off so it's not so distracting. Um, so the, the grade crossings I'm using are uh, Blair Line, uh, and they're stained. Uh, but actually, I've had to, you know, I've had to get a bunch of sets. Luckily, they're they're fairly inexpensive, uh, but I can. Uh, So there's actually, in a pack, there come two of those. So there's actually a couple here and a couple here. So there's two packs. And I used some other wood, like the wood that surrounds the uh, laser cut wood to fill in here. This is pretty smooth. It's pretty nice. I've worked on it quite a bit. As you can see, I have extended it out past the road quite a bit. The, uh, or past, yeah, the, uh, there's a sidewalk on both sides. This is Main Street of Oak Hill. There's a sidewalk pretty wide on both both sides. Again, this is where the restaurant was that eventually I'm going to try to scratch build. Then right after the restaurant, there was a little tiny building that was sort of attached to it. Um, I don't know what it might have been, <laughs> some kind of business. And then after that, the sidewalk narrowed and it just had a curb and a grassy strip and then about a four foot wide sidewalk and there are houses back this way on main street so the business district really well oak hill was never a big city never had a big business district the business district basically ended right here on the other side there was a gas station and then just houses uh over here was the you can see i've got pictures of the post office this was the post office two or three more small buildings. Now, I don't know where the original post office was. It might have been on the same site, but this is where the post office is now, and I'm going to try to sort of model that. Right here, where I've got this, I sort of put a gravel berm in. Um, I'm taking in some older photos, and I'll show you uh, the photos. There was a building here when I'm assuming it was a motor car shed. Uh, one time there might have been two buildings there um i don't think it was there in 1980 when i or early 80s when i visited but um yeah i'll show you again i'll show you a picture of it um this is the kit that i'm modifying that's the creative laser design quincy station the main reason i chose it well two reasons the size and the uh roof uh, on it because the picture you'll see it definitely has you know the roof like that without uh, gables on the ends i don't know what i can't remember what they call that roof i'm sure someone will tell me in the comments i'm going to have to scratch build some doors for it uh to make it look like a motor car was there but again this is around 1980 and they weren't really using speeders or by by that time they had been replaced with high rail vehicles most places uh so you know i, I did some research on it uh of course some places still used them into the you know 80s and 90s i think canada kept them longer uh but i'm pretty sure that the chassis system had high rail vehicles and it pretty much phased out all the the speeders at this point um so i'm not going i'm going to model it sort of like you know it's not used anymore um 
I, the paint, I just had to try to match the paint on the depots, and of course it's not weathered yet or anything like the depots are. But uh, So this is actually on the north end of Oak Hill. Um, here's the building I'm talking about. That's Aetna Fire Brick on the other side, and the depots are to the south, out of view. So the intersection of Route 93 and Main Street is almost in the center of the photo. And the building I'm talking about would be up the north edge of the photo, uh, barely visible. Of course, it's a pretty small building. So this is the restaurant building I'm talking about, Scratch Building. Uh, at this point, it wasn't a restaurant, but you can see how wide the sidewalk is here. I'm going to model like eight feet wide here then taper down to four feet at the end of it. Here's another view I've shown you before, but you can see the restaurant on the left, gas station on the right. You can see how wide this uh, sidewalk is and then the residential area in the back with the grassy strip uh, next to the street. So that's what I've been working on. I'm gonna move the camera down and show you the grade crossings at Route 93, and they were a challenge too. I may have to move the train back. So I had three crossings on an angle, and so that's, uh, you know, I used the same Monroe models for in between the tracks, but because the tracks were at an angle, it was a lot longer. Um, and uh, there's not going to be a sidewalk here, I think. This is just heading out into the country at this point. Um, right now, I just took the pavement right up to the outside edge of the rails. I haven't decided if I like the way that looks or not. Uh, I may go ahead and that's what I did in Chalkothy on Douglas Avenue. Uh, but I may go ahead and either put the cut the pavement out and put the little wood strips in, or more likely. I could mask this off and just paint that to look like it's the same color as the middle and no one will probably ever ever know <laughs> so um but mainly i've been working on grade crossings uh in oak hill and uh sidewalks and and the staging yard obviously um probably talked long enough i'm glad you at least got to see a little bit of a train uh going through it i will uh tack uh I know there's like been a cover what, a covered hopper challenge. Uh, I don't really, I don't follow the people who do all these challenges. Uh, but I saw it on, uh, you know, Roy Smith's channel. And so I thought, well, I'll, I'll do it. I'll participate even though I'm not part of the challenge. <laughs> uh, because I haven't been showing my bridge module very much uh, lately, you know, the bridge connection. So I'll just, I put together a train of short covered hoppers, ones that might be running to Oak Hill and uh, ran them across the bridge. So I'll tack that on the end of this. Um, I'll probably post this. This is Sunday morning. I'm going to be doing a little bit more work, but I'll probably just go ahead and post this. I'll post part four of the switching on, uh, you know, middle of the week, Chalkathi, and then I should have an update on Oak Hill um, this, uh, this week. I told you that, you know, I had three very, very long weeks. Uh, so basically I earned... Uh, three days of comp time <laughs> during uh, during that in lieu of uh, overtime pay hour and comp time. So I'm going to be taking uh, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday off this week and uh, intending to work uh, on the layout those days. So everybody stay safe. So quick correction. I said Monroe models, but I meant to say player line uh, for the grade crossings. So enjoy the train. Everybody stay safe.
So here's my response to uh, Roy's challenge about the box cars. Uh, I have <laughs> 35 box cars. I had to count them out. Uh, there's only 10 on this train. Uh, I had 15, but the GP7 didn't want to pull them around this curve. Um, so I uh, appreciate Roy thinking of me, <laughs> but I'm not going to like mess up all my JMRI ops and dig stuff out of sightings and stuff to put on to answer a challenge so and I don't uh, have never tried to set up any engines to run uh, you know multiple units or what in a consist and I don't ever intend to I just have a switching layout I don't need to so uh, whatever one engine will pull is all you're going to get <laughs> out of me uh, so enjoy the train